a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Atacama Desert The Atacama Desert is a plateau in South America, covering a 1,000-kilometer strip of land on the Pacific coast, west of the Andes Mountains. It is the driest non-polar desert in the world. According to estimates, the Atacama Desert occupies 105,000 square kilometers, or 128,000 square kilometers if the barren lower slopes of the Andes are included. Most of the desert is composed of stony terrain, salt lakes, sand, and felsic lava that flows towards the Andes. Geographically, the aridity of the Atacama is explained by it being situated between two mountain chains of sufficient height to prevent moisture advection from either the Pacific or the Atlantic Oceans. A two-sided rain shadow setting According to the World Wide Fund for Nature, the Atacama Desert ecoregion occupies a continuous strip for nearly 1,600 kilometers along the narrow coast of the northern third of Chile, from near Arica southward to near La Serena. The National Geographic Society considers the coastal area of southern Peru to be part of the Atacama Desert, and also includes the deserts south of the ecoregion in Peru. Peru borders it on the north, and the Chilean Matoral ecoregion borders it on the south. To the east lies the less arid central Andean dry Panua ecoregion. The drier portion of this ecoregion is located south of the Lowy River between the parallel Sierra Vicuna Mackenna and Cordillera do Maico. To the north of the lower lies the Pampa Delta Maragil. The coastal cliff of northern Chile west of the Chilean coast range is the main topographical feature of the coast. The geomorphology of the Atacama Desert has been characterized as a low relief bench, similar to a giant uplifted terrace by Armijo and co-workers. The intermediate depression forms a series of endorheic basins in much of Atacama Desert south of latitude 19 degrees and 30 minutes south. North of this latitude, the intermediate depression drains into the Pacific Ocean. Climate Although the almost total lack of precipitation is the most prominent characteristic of the Atacama Desert, exceptions may occur. In July 2011, an extreme Antarctic cold front broke through the rain shadow, bringing 80 centimeters of snow to the plateau, stranding residents across the region, particularly in Bolivia, where many drivers became stuck in snow drifts and emergency crews became overtaxed with a large number of rescue calls. In 2012, the Altiplano winter brought floods to San Pedro de Atacama. On 25 March 2015, heavy rainfall affected the southern part of the Atacama Desert, resulting floods triggered mud flows that affected the cities of Copiapo, Tierra Amarilla, Canaral, and Diego de Almagro, causing the deaths of more than 100 people. Aridity The Atacama Desert is commonly known as the driest non-polar place in the world, especially the surroundings of the abandoned Yungay town. The average rainfall is about 15 mm per year, although some locations, such as Arica and Iquique, receive one to in a year. Moreover, some weather stations in the Atacama have never received rain. Periods up to four years have been registered with no rainfall in the central sector, delimited by the cities of Antofagasta, Calama, and Copiapo, in Chile. Evidence suggests that the Atacama may not have had any significant rainfall, from 1570 to 1971. The Atacama Desert may be the oldest desert on Earth and has experienced extreme hyperaridity for at least 3 million years, making it the oldest continuously arid region on Earth. The long history of aridity raises the possibility that supergene mineralization, under the appropriate conditions, can form in arid environments, instead of requiring humid conditions. Geological research suggests that in some sections of the Atacama Desert, such as in today's Chile, Hyperaridity has persisted for the last 200 million years, competing only with Africa's Namib Desert for such a title. The Atacama is so arid that many mountains higher than 6,000 meters are completely free of glaciers. Only the highest peaks have some permanent snow coverage. The southern part of the desert, between 25 and 27 degrees south, may have been glacier-free throughout the Quaternary, though permafrost extends down to an altitude of 4,400 meters, and is continuous above 5,600 meters. Studies by a group of British scientists have suggested that some riverbeds have been dry for 120,000 years. 
However, some locations in the Atacama receive a marine fog known locally as the Comanchica, providing sufficient moisture for hypolithic algae, lichens, and even some cacti. The genus Copiapoa is notable among these. Geographically, the aridity of the Atacama is explained by it being situated between two mountain chains of sufficient height to prevent moisture advection from either the Pacific or the Atlantic Oceans. A two-sided rain shadow. Comparison to Mars In a region about 100 km south of Antofagasta, which averages 3,000 m in elevation, the soil has been compared to that of Mars. Owing to its otherworldly appearance, the Atacama has been used as a location for filming Mars scenes, most notably in the television series Space Odyssey, Voyage to the Planets. In 2003, a team of researchers published a report in which they duplicated the tests used by the Viking 1 and Viking 2 Mars landers to detect life, and were unable to detect any signs in Atacama desert soil in the region of Yungai. The region may be unique on Earth in this regard, and is being used by NASA to test instruments for future Mars missions. The team duplicated the Viking tests in Mars-like Earth environments, and found that they missed present signs of life in soil samples from Antarctic dry valleys the Atacama Desert of Chile and Peru, and other locales. However, in 2014, a new hyperarid site was reported, Maria Elena South, which was much drier than Yungay, and thus, a better Mars-like environment. In 2008, the Phoenix Mars lander detected perchlorates on the surface of Mars at the same site where water was first discovered. Perchlorates are also found in the Atacama and associated nitrate deposits of contained organics, leading to speculation that signs of life on Mars are not incompatible with perchlorates. The Atacama is also a testing site for the NASA-funded Earth-Mars Cave Detection Program. Flora In spite of the geographic and climatic conditions of the desert, a rich variety of flora has evolved there. Over 500 species have been gathered within the border of this desert. These species are characterized by their extraordinary ability to adapt to this extreme environment. Most common species are the herbs and flowers such as thyme, larita, and salt grass. And where humidity is sufficient, trees such as the chena, the pimiento tree, and the leafy algarobo. The larita is one of the highest growing wood species in the world. It is found at altitudes between 3,000 and its dense form is similar to a pillow some three to thick. It concentrates and retains the heat from the day to cope with low evening temperatures. The growth rate of the larita has been recently estimated at about 1.5 cm per year, making many laritas over 3,000 years old. It produces a much prized resin, which the mining industry once harvested indiscriminately as fuel, making this plant endangered. The desert is also home to cacti, succulents, and other plants that thrive in a dry climate. Cactus species here include the candelabro and cardon, which can reach a height of 7 meters and a diameter of 70 centimeters. The Atacama Desert flowering can be seen from September to November in years with sufficient precipitation, as happened in 2015. Fauna the climate of the Atacama Desert limits the number of animals living permanently in this extreme ecosystem. Some parts of the desert are so arid, no plant or animal life can survive. Outside of these extreme areas, sand-colored grasshoppers blend with pebbles on the desert floor, and beetles and their larvae provide a valuable food source in the lomas. Desert wasps and butterflies can be found during the warm and humid season, especially on the lomas. Red scorpions also live in the desert. A unique environment is provided by some lomas, where the fog from the ocean provides enough moisture for seasonal plants and a few animal species. Surprisingly few reptile species inhabit the desert and even fewer amphibian species. Chornus atacamensis, the valinatode or atacamatode, lives on the lomas, where it lays eggs in permanent ponds or streams. Iguanas and lava lizards inhabit parts of the desert, while salt flat lizards Lyalemus live in the dry areas bordering the ocean. One species, Lyalemus fabiani, is endemic to the Salado Atacama. The Atacama salt flat birds are probably the largest animal group in the Atacama. Humboldt penguins live year-round along the coast, nesting in desert cliffs overlooking the ocean. 
on salt flats both near the Pacific and inland. Andean flamingos flock to eat algae. Other birds visit the lomas seasonally to feed on insects, nectar, seeds, and flowers. The lomas help sustain several threatened species, such as the endangered Chilean wood star. Because of the desert's extreme aridity, only a few specially adapted mammal species live in the Atacama, such as Darwin's leaf-eared mouse. The less arid parts of the desert are inhabited by the South American gray fox and the viscatcher. Larger animals, such as guanacos and vicunas, graze in areas where grass grows, mainly because it is seasonally irrigated by melted snow. Vicunas need to remain near a steady water supply, while guanacos can roam into more arid areas and survive longer without fresh water. Seals and sea lions often gather along the coast. Human Presence The Atacama is sparsely populated, with most towns located along the Pacific coast. In interior areas, oases and some valleys have been populated for millennia and were the location of the most advanced pre-Columbian societies found in Chile. Chinchorro Culture The Chinchorro culture developed in the Atacama Desert area from 7000 to 1500 BCE. These peoples were sedentary fishermen inhabiting mostly coastal areas. Their presence is found from today's towns of Ilo, in southern Peru, to Antofagasta in northern Chile. Presence of fresh water in the arid region on the coast facilitated human settlement in these areas. The Chinchorro were famous for their detailed mummification and funerary practices. In later times, the Atacama Oases experienced little population growth and urban development. During the 20th century, they have had conflicts over water resources, with the coastal cities and the mining industry. San Pedro de Atacama, at about 2,400 meters elevation, is like many of the small towns, before the Inca Empire and prior to the arrival of the Spanish, the extremely arid interior was inhabited primarily by the Atacamino tribe. They are noted for building fortified towns called Pugaras, one of which is located a few kilometers from San Pedro de Atacama. The town's church was built by the Spanish in 1577. The coastal cities originated in the 16th, 17th, and 18th centuries during the time of the Spanish Empire, when they emerged as shipping ports for silver produced in Potosí and other mining centers. During the 19th century, the desert came under control of Bolivia, Chile, and Peru. With the discovery of sodium nitrate deposits, and as a result of unclear borders, the area soon became a zone of conflict and resulted in the War of the Pacific. Chile annexed most of the desert, and cities along the coast developed into international ports hosting many Chilean workers who migrated there. With the guano and salt peter booms of the 19th century, the population grew immensely, mostly as a result of immigration from central Chile. In the 20th century, the nitrate industry declined and at the same time, the largely male population of the desert became increasingly problematic for the Chilean state. Miners and mining companies came into conflict, and protests spread throughout the region. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you 